What's up, good morning guys. It is 8.38 right now. So, ooh, I have a text message and I don't know from who. Let me check real quick. Got Riley playing down there while I'm gonna make us breakfast. Oh, that's weird. My phone doesn't tell me, but my watch does. Alrighty, well, anyways, it is a Thursday. I actually got back from LA yesterday around like four o'clock. Um, I had to spend the night there, so it was like my first time leaving Riley with Joel. And he's like, we did good, see, you can go there anytime you want, like we're totally fine. And I'm like, yeah, because you had my parents both days. <laughs> they both um, helped him take care of Riley at two o'clock because he usually keeps working. So my mom and my dad really helped out there. Hi, bubbies. You're giving me this look. Are you hungry? Yeah, we're gonna try this new thing. So it's by the brand called Nurture Me. I got these at Sprouts and it's the organic quinoa cereals, a healthy alternative to rice. No gluten, no dairy, soy, egg. It's iron fortified and it's quinoa and apple. And you can actually mix some of the breast milk into it or like formula and whatnot. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for you. Yeah. So I also have to set up her um, high chair real quick. Really quick thing about the Four Moms high chair. I really like it. It's nice and light. It's super easy to take off the tray. After like seeing a lot of other high chairs, it definitely is like one of the easiest to take the tray off. I like the fact that it's a magnetic top on it and that you can like also take off the top lining and wash that easily. But if I could go get a different high chair, I probably would because I don't like the fact that it doesn't recline. Because she, like even if I wanna give her a bottle, she has a hard time like lifting the bottle up and getting the milk. So I can't put her in that because she's not, she hasn't, she's not skilled in that yet. <laughs> So if I like give her a bottle and stuff, I can't put her in the high chair. And I really like a lot of the high chairs, they actually recline. Like there's the one that's a Juby one that my mom has. That one reclines, it has a very cushiony insert in it. And it's just really, really nice. The tray is a little bit difficult though. And it's like half the price of the four moms. So I would definitely recommend the Juby for more of affordable and also very practical. And the fact that it reclines and it's very cushiony too. So it's bigger. The legs of it are bigger, but you can collapse them up so it's easier to store. But that's the one that we use at my mom's house. I think that's the one that my sister put on her registry for. I also really like the Aurabelle, the one that um, SL Miss Glam got. <laughs> Holy man. He just walked up to Elsa and she's laying down and just pawed her right in the face. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I also really like the Aurabelle too. If I could do that over again. I would totally get either the Orabel or the Juvie for her. Do you see what I'm making? You don't smell good, but do you see what I'm making you? You smell like Play-Doh. November 27, 2019. So good, but it doesn't smell good. It's got like B12 and it. Oh, it's got tons of vitamins, like B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B9, and B12. Crazy. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna make some of this right now. So it says, pour the desired amount of dry cereal into a bowl. Do that. How much do we wanna do? Where are the serving sizes? Two servings per day provide a daily recommended dose of probiotics. About two tablespoons. Two. What, babies? Ollie, you gotta stop barking, man. Add three to five tablespoons of breast milk, water, or formula her serving to create pur puree, okay. She has gotten so picky about formula. Really, the only thing that you're, oh, she, she sees me with the bottle. Um, I, excuse me, you need to be patient. She gives me a face. Um, she's very picky about formula now. The only one that she's really taking is Enfamil Inspire. I've tried to like give her the ones that I'm like running out, of, like that I have in there. Um, that I have extras of, but she won't take them. So this needs three to five tablespoons. One, two, three. Let's see how that measured. So it looks like this. Woo! Yum, 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 yum. Excited. Yeah. Let's 
see how you like this. Ready? <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Do you not like it? You're like not even opening up your mouth. You are not liking this one. It's a good source of vitamins and probiotics. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. I don't think she likes it, so we're gonna do this one instead. Right here, this is the Earth's Best Peach Oatmeal Banana. She actually really likes this one, but yeah. Honestly, even smelling that thing, it just smells disgusting. <laughs> All right, so I don't feed her the whole thing, but I always make sure to put it in another piece of Tupperware because if you feed them from the jar, then that means you have to throw away the jar even if they don't finish it. So that way I can save the extra ones for tomorrow morning. Now let's have some peach oatmeal. Oh, you'll like this one. Yeah. Yeah, you like this one a lot more. We are in the playroom right now, you guys. This room is so cramped. I need to figure out a better way to put everything. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the mirror over there. But um, I just picked her up early from daycare. Um, luckily, I was able to get my filming and everything done as quickly as possible. Because first, I got a text that she was doing really well, which is what you guys will see in the video on Tuesday. But then I got a phone call about 30 minutes later that she is not doing well. She's just like slept for five minutes, screaming, crying, and it's just not feeling the best. She's acting fine now, but I'm just letting, oh, did you, you spit up and you rolled in it, didn't you? Okay, so I need to get to clean her up. I actually just cut down because I was gonna eat lunch really quickly, but. I need to clean her up really fast. Okay, so real quick, let me show you guys Joel's Father's Day gift. It's this book right here. It says, When Riley Grows Up, Daddy Edition. So these are customizable books that I think that are the absolute cutest. I love them so much. I saw this on Instagram, and I was like, oh my God, that's the cutest idea. And I was like, oh, this would be perfect for Father's Day. And this was back in January. So I told myself for Father's Day, I am going to do this little gift for Joel for his first Father's Day. So you can customize the little girl to look like your daughter or your son. And then you can even make the dad, like you can customize the dad. I know, Riley. You can customize the dad to make him look like your husband and stuff. And it's so cute. And you can pick like all like the heroes and what they're gonna be when they grow up. You can pick like the different scenarios. So one of them is a race car driver and I thought that was like the cutest thing ever. So I got this for him. I'm not gonna open it up because I wanna keep it wrapped up. Otherwise I would show you guys. So when, after he's done opening it up, I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. But best idea, hands down. I think there is another version that you can do for Christmas and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna do that one for her for Christmas. But it's so cute. They put the, the customized little girl on the top and then it has Riley's name on it. It is adorable. So yeah, highly recommend this, you guys. It is so cute. So I'm actually gonna wrap it up right now and then I'm gonna write on these cards for my dad and for Joel for Father's Day. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do while this one, you know you're not supposed to chew on that end. She's like chewing on the other end of the teether. You're not, yeah, you're not supposed to chew on that end. Yeah, oh, very proud of you. She just turned it around and chewed on the right end. 
You are a very, very smart little girl. Oh, now you're truly turning it around. Never mind, I take back that statement. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and write in these cards real quick and then hopefully I can get her down. Her poor eyes are even watering. I feel so bad. So I'm gonna get this done real quick. Hey guys, so I'm just catching up on all the vlogs, but I just wanted to end this one for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The book ended up being so cute for Joel. I'm gonna show it in the next vlog of like close-ups of it and everything, but we had a good Father's Day. We actually celebrated it a day early because Joel went out of town for the like the next couple days and whatnot. So then, and plus some family stuff came up on my side of the family. So we actually gonna celebrate it with the whole family next weekend. So I'll vlog that for you guys. But I just wanted to end this one and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.